Hi, welcome to The Inner Way. Today's program is called Countless Intellections. Candles could be counted, but apparently intellections cannot. Hi, welcome back to The Inner Way, a program exploring the spirituality of the Orthodox Church. I'm your host, Father David Smith. This is our 21st program, the 14th in a series on the spiritual discipline of Ezekiah, which could also be called stillness or inner peace. I've been using the writings of St. Ezekias from the Philokalia from his remarkable book, Watchfulness and Holiness. And today I'm quoting from the uh, 196th paragraph of his book. Quote, truly blessed is the one whose mind and heart are as closely attached to the Jesus prayer and to the ceaseless invocation of his name as air to the body or flame to the wax. The sun rising over the earth creates daylight and the venerable and holy name of the Lord Jesus shining continually in the mind gives birth to countless intellections radiant as the sun. How does the ceaseless invocation of the name of Jesus Christ give birth to countless intellections? To the one standing outside the spiritual life, this seems like a needlessly dramatic overstatement. How much really can we learn from saying the Jesus prayer over and over and over again? For most people, the answer is not much. It's like an illiterate person walking into a library. Rows and rows of books have no meaning to this person. The coffee bar, the videos, the bathrooms hold much more interest. You might say to him, there are thousands of things that you can experience and learn and places you can go in these books, but your words don't apply to him. You can look at it another way. At the end of St. John's Gospel, he wrote these words, and there are also many other things that Jesus did which if they were written one by one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that would be written, amen. What does this mean? What could be written about Jesus' life that would fill the entire world with books? That's a lot of books painfully long descriptions of each moment of each day? No, not at all. St. John refers here to the work of Christ in our lives and in the lives of everyone who has loved him and followed him. If every one of us wrote books about how Jesus Christ saved, helped, healed, enlightened us, the world could indeed not contain them. The same is true of the countless intellections that arise from our commitment to the Jesus prayer. Does this mean that everyone who prays the prayer will write a book of theology? And so there are going to be new books of theology published every single day? No. Rather, the prayer reminds us every day about ourselves and about the world around us. As St. Ezekiel says, truly blessed is the one enlightened in this way. 
Blessed is the one who is not trying to find something new every day, but who has learned to dwell in the prayer and in the presence of God. His image of the sun rising over the earth is helpful. Does each sunrise reveal a landscape that differs significantly from the landscape it illuminated the day before or the day before that? No, not normally. Every day when I walk out of my house, the road I live on is there at the end of my driveway the same way it always is. I may walk out of my house a thousand times, a thousand mornings, and see essentially nothing that I hadn't seen the day before. Granted, one day out of a thousand or more, there might be something surprising or interesting laying in the road, but not normally. The countless intellections that St. Ezekiel speaks of are not the, I don't know, bodies of dead animals or valuable possessions laying out in the road or even the gradual changes of the season. No, the countless intellections are the road. Back to my original question, how much really can we learn from saying the Jesus prayer over and over and over again? Much and constantly. But the goal is not to sustain a frantic search for something new or exciting. The goal is not to receive visions and miracles of assurance. The goal is Ezekiel, is inner peace, the endlessly deep ocean, the sunrise, which is the same each day and always new. Next week will be the last time we delve into one of the paragraphs from St. Ezekiel's book, Watchfulness and Holiness, I wish I could do 200 programs, one for each of the saints' paragraphs, but I don't want to commit to such a big undertaking and then not finish it. For Lent this year, I am under, I'm going to uh, start, which I will begin long before Lent starts, by the way, I'm going to uh, start reading the ascetical homilies of St. Isaac the Syrian, and I hope you'll join me in that part of our journey. But until next week, God bless you and see you in church.